Hello folks, time for another video and shave and a little review. All right, so um, my last couple of shaves actually been with Sterling Soap Company, which is great shaves. But I had a soap that I came across on Amazon, which I'm always, you know, on Amazon buying stuff for the house and for the family and whatnot. So I always check out some shaving stuff. Sometimes there's some really good values and plus I really don't get in trouble because it comes up as an Amazon purchase and not a shaving company purchase. Anyway, <clears throat> excuse the the gruffness there. Um, and a company that I uh, I've actually come across a couple times, but I never I don't know why I didn't pay attention. So I went on uh, YouTube to look up a couple of videos, and there's actually a lot of videos. I'm way late on this one, but there hasn't been any recent ones. So I decided I'm going to pick up this uh, interesting company called Taconic well, plain outside very low Taconic shave cream um this company Taconic is actually not too far from me uh they're in uh, the Hudson Valley in New York so you know less than an hour but um it's got great ingredients I'll put the list up in a few minutes um and what intrigued me about this this is the Excalibur Excalibur. They make about, I think, about five or six different uh, scents. I'll put the, of course, the link down in the prescrip des prescription <laughs> in the description of, uh, I'll put their website down there. There's also available on Amazon, but I think there's more on their website itself. But it doesn't matter where you buy it. I mean, you know, I'm not being sponsored by them anyway. So, but, um, and it was pretty uh, affordable. I mean, this is eight ounces of a cream. In a pump, which is unique also. Um, it's eight ounces. Let's see if you see it there. And it was, I think, $18 for, like it says, eight ounces. Usually I'm paying anywhere from $15 to $24 for a regular container of soap that's only have four ounces in it. So this is a pretty good bargain. It's got great ingredients. And I guess I'll leave the description down in the comments. Um, but I'll flip up the ingredients here. I know you probably won't be able to read it. But if you want to pause it, you might be able to read it. I ordered this. And I was going to order the Splash. But if I ordered the alcohol Splash, it would have taken longer. I don't know why. But Amazon said it would take longer to ship the alcohol Splash. I wanted them both to come at the same time. So I also ordered their unscented aftershave bomb. Which, we'll talk about that at the end of the shave, because this is a little strange to me. <laughs> now, gear I'm going to use today is, I didn't put anything yet. I'm going to use my sash marble ball, but there's nothing in the ball yet, because I'm going to lather this, because I heard it lathers really easily. Um, I'm going to be using my Simoog 830, which has been soaking while I was in my shower. And I'm going to use my Rockwell 6S, because I want to see how the soap actually is. I'm on plate number five. And last shave, um, I was kind of impressed by the Astra Superior Stainlesses because I haven't been happy with the uh, SPs lately because they're the they're not the older ones with the dark writing on the blaze or the new ones with the laser So I haven't been happy with the SPs. So I have two tucks of these that my buddy Josh Moore sent me a while back. So I tried one out. On my last shave and I was sort of impressed but I'm gonna put on my rock wall because that's my standard on uh, kind of seeing how blades work I know I'm using a new soap so it's kind of the true test on that but anyway so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the uh, the sash bowl hopefully I could do this real good. this bowl weighs a ton and I'm gonna take the cream and I'm just gonna put one glob in there just one so you can see it in there. And that's all I'm going to put in there. So, I'm just kind of still running out of the tip there. So it's got a nice pump. And it doesn't take much. Like I said, I just put one little pump in there. And I'm not going to put any water in it. I'm going to rely on the water that's in my brush. I'm just going to shake a little bit out of my brush. Just a little bit out of the 830. 
Now, the reason why I went with this scent, because they have other scents. They have like a bay rum and a lime. Is because when I was reading the scent profiles, uh, this one kind of stuck out. It's called Excalibur. And it said it has a musky, kind of woodsy, with a sweet tone. So I was like, hmm, that sounds interesting. Now, I've also saw a couple of reviews on the soap and on this Excalibur, and some people said it's a little cologne smelling. It definitely has that scent of a cologne, but I'm not a big cologne fan, but it's, I like it so far. I mean, I really couldn't smell it off the, the pump there because I didn't pump any out yet until now. And it's definitely uh, whipping up nice. I haven't had it any any edit water yet. I'm gonna do that in a second. But it's uh mm, it's a very pleasing scent. Definitely has that musky and woodsy scent with the to me it's kinda of a little bit of that. Almost cologne kind of scent. Almost it kinda of reminds me of uh Future Fiction by uh PAA. Not an exact match, but it's in that realm. I'm just going to throw a couple of drops of water in my bowl there. Just a couple of drops. Don't ask me why I picked this combo of brush and bowl. I just did. And the lather looks nice and peaky. As you can see there. Looks pretty good. I like the scent. Um, I didn't do any kind of pre-shave, just because I want to see the performance of the soap. That's why, you know, I picked that Astra Superior Stainless, just because I had a great shave with it last time. And I really should have went with a blade I know a little better, but bah, this is all the fun. By the way, it's a nice sunny day here for once in New Jersey. We're supposed to be getting some rain again at the end of the week, but we'll see. Okay. So again, we're going to go with the Taconic uh, Excalibur. Yeah, definitely, to me, it's, if you're familiar with PAA's Future Fiction, it's on that sideline of scent. Nice and musky and woodsy. Not too woodsy, though. It doesn't really have that, like, earth... That really earth earth kind of scent. The ladle looks awesome. It feels good on the face. All the ingredients look like good ingredients. I have, uh, I think, two or three days of growth. Whatever my last video was, I think my last video was, I don't even know what my last video was. That was over the weekend, I think. So it might actually be three or four days of growth. This actually came in a day early. Amazon said that they were, uh, it would be delayed. But all of a sudden, the UPS guy was uh, knocking on the door yesterday. So it came in yesterday. Nice, creamy lather right there. Got a little bit on the nose. Just some on the ear lobes, but nothing in the ear. Yeah, like I said, I'm not a big cologne kind of soap guy, but this is very pleasing. I like the, like I said, I like the scent of future fiction from PAA and this kind of reminds me of that. I mean it's not a like dead spot on scent of it but it's close. All right let's go to Rockwell Success. Just gonna put a little more water in my sink. My sea monster sink. I seem to have picked up that <laughs> that nickname because of my sink. All right Success plate number five. Uh, Astra Superior Stainless. <laughs> I had to think about that for a second, folks. On its first use.
I was actually going to save the blade from last time, but I wanted to give this one a fresh shot, so with the Rockwell. Slick, this feels really good with this soap so far. I mean, I only did a couple swipes, but we'll see. The blade feels good in my Rockwell, too. But then again, a lot of blades feel pretty good in the Rockwell, in my own opinion. Actually, the kids are now back to uh, doing their schoolwork online again. I actually hear my granddaughter doing a video chat with this classroom right now. So if you hear something funky in the background, it's just her doing her virtual classroom. So far, so good with this blade. The soap is performing great, too. Yeah, they also make a hard uh, puck on these soaps. I think they come in like a... Uh, metal tins I think you get four ounces in that and they're a little bit cheaper than the cream and I also only come in four ounce tubs in cream also but I opted for the pump with the eight ounces just because it looked interesting well that was a very good first pass but one thing I did notice here is the residual slickness is there, but it's not like super slick residual. But let me see if I just put a little water on that, if it changes. Yeah, just add a little water and that residual slickness really pops out at you. This is just my residual slickness test. I do this all the time. Well, I have plenty of lather left in the bowl, of course. Alrighty. Very nice, clean scent. Even though it has that musk. And it says earthy, but it's light on the earth. It has a very sweet musk kind of a scent. Very pleasing. And like I says, I'm not a cologne guy when it comes to my scents. But I do dig this. This is pretty cool. It feels nice with this uh, Simogate 30. Yeah, the weather's supposed to get nasty towards the end of the week this week. Again. But then again, it is spring, so what do you expect, right? I am going to be in a little bit of trouble because Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements had a little brush drop in the middle of the night. That new little brush, 24 millimeter, I don't want to butcher the name. It's uh, Spanish for pilgrim. But whatever it is, it's cool. It's got a green handle, green and white handle. I think it's molded after the Ever Ready 500. So I ordered it. It wasn't expensive at all. It was inexpensive, but... 
I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> so hopefully we'll have that. Probably in a week. I know Phoenix's orders take a little while after you place them. Because they're so busy usually. Yeah, this scent is, uh, I really like it. I mean, it's not one that I would jump up and down, you know, and say, oh, you hippie. I found, like, you know, a new go-to scent, but it's, uh, it's pleasing. Like I said, I'm not a cologne lover in my soaps. I like them either sweet or spicy or like this little musky. I don't like them when they're heavily. Like, that's why I don't like anything with... I hate to say it because there's so many lovers of the Creed Aventus out there, but it's just not a scent I like. Like, I have Mountain Man by Sterling. I love the performance on the soap. It's just that the scent of the soap, sometimes just, I get a headache from it. <laughs> just don't really like those heavy cologne. Well, I am like, I'm pretty much almost BBS. I just got to do another little tiny pass under the chin. Well, I'll say one thing. I do like... I do like this blade. And these are available. I was checking actually on Amazon the other day. Like a hundred pack of these. Astra. Superior. Stainlesses are only like, I think $11 for a hundred or something like that. So, hmm. And these are the laser etched ones, but to me they're very, they're smoother than the SPs, the newer SPs. I used to love the older ones with the dark writing, so they say there's no change in the two, but I know the new Astro SPs, for me, they don't shave like the older ones. I wish I would have saved some of the older ones, but I went through them in about a year, 100 blades. All right, so it's time for the sea monster. I'm going to drain that sink. Let's see. The sea monster has spoken. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, the sink in this back bathroom, it's a newer sink. It's actually a composite. Uh, it's made from some kind of like uh, composite material. Um, but it didn't have the stopper. So I'm just using a regular old school stopper with the chain on it. Like my grandparents. <laughs> So, that's why it makes that funky noise. Yeah, I am nice and BBS. Just gonna throw some cold water. Just drown myself. On the face. I could still smell the scent of that soap a little bit. Like I said, I was gonna... They don't have an actual... Excalibur aftershave bomb that I saw. Maybe they do, but I missed it. But they do have a splash, an aftershave splash. Um, I was thinking about getting that, but like I said, it was going to hold the shipping. And I don't really want to wait like a month. Even though, even though this soap is made in New York, it wound up coming from like, I think Kenosha, Wisconsin. When I was looking at the tracking. So I guess they pulled it from an Amazon warehouse. And it didn't come straight from the company. But I'm sure if you order it from the company itself, from the website, it'll uh, come from them. <laughs> so. Alright, that was, uh, that was really good. So what I'm going to do real quick is, while I'm letting this dry, I'm going to just bounce some thayers on the face. I just have some thayers out here. It's in the cucumber. I think it'll go okay with this. It's not a very heavily cucumber scent thing but I figure I'll do that since it's sitting right here in front of me Thayer's made in Connecticut that's only a few states away from me also Thayer's is available I think in uh, Target I think my, my mom bought me whole bunches before she left for Florida um 
I think she got them actually on sale at Target. You know, back in January. So I'm pretty good and stocked up on the Thayer. I just should use it more often because it makes my face feel great. All right, so while my face is drying up, that was Taconic's Excalibur Shave Cream because they do make this in a hard glycerin puck. Great scent. Like I said, it has that musky, woodsy, but not like that like woodsy where it's like that earthy. It's just a nice and a little bit of sweetness on the back end. It's you like I said, you get eight ounces in this, and it's in the pump. Pretty cool. And razor was my Rockwell success, just to kind of see how this soap was. I'm, I was on plate number five. And wow, my that's tight today. All right, didn't want to cut my finger there. And inside here is the Astra Superior Stainless, and like I said, it's the laser etched. So I don't know what side the laser etch is on. So let me put my glasses on real quick. Because it's hard to see. And the camera might not even pick it up. Yeah, it's laser etched on only one side. And it's laser etched on that side. And then if I hold it a certain way to the light, you'll see the Astra logo. But it is laser etched. It says Astra uh, Superior stainless like this if you hold it a certain way you can see it i guess i don't know if the camera will pick that up because it is a little weird and i can't see any feedback on my monitor so that's why i like the older astro blades i know this isn't an sp but i liked when the labels were darker anyway i guess that was the rockwell success on plate number five and my brush was my C Moog 830 and let's see how much is doing the brush there still plenty I saw plenty in my bowl you can see it's got nice peaks on it so it's a good soap and it's a brand of soap which I've I can't believe I've passed up because I'm always on Amazon looking for that weird soap just so I like to find soaps sometimes that nobody's made videos of just so I can put them on my YouTube channel because, you know, after a while, unless you spend a million dollars a year on buying soaps, you run out of content and it kind of gets boring. So, all right, my face feels pretty nice and dry. Oh, yeah, and by the way, that was, I whipped it up on my sash ball. I know the logo's on this thing somewhere, it's just hard to see. This is a great ball. I mean, except for the, it weighs five metric tons, it's a good ball. And it has little ridges inside. I don't know if you can see the ridges in there. But it definitely whips up a good soap. It's not a huge ball. So a smaller brush like the Smoga 830 or the 1250 that I have works great. All right. Instead of me yapping about the balls. I got the, um, because they suggested that with this soap to get the unscented aftershave bomb. Um, it has a bunch of goodies in it see that i guess i'll leave the description to the website Let's see if we can maybe pause that it's got a bunch of goodies in it but it is unscented but the website does say that you will pick up the essential oils and it also is in a pump there's a little pump head on it i just put a little pea size there in my hand a little pea size and there is Now, I smelled this yesterday when it came in, and it has a unique scent. Even though it is unscented, it kind of smells like it's funky. I know it has a hint of menthol, so I'm kind of getting that like menthol eucalyptus kind of scent. It's kind of weird. It almost smells medicinal. But it's not super strong. It's not going to mask out anything that you put on, like an aftershave or anything. But it does have a little bit of that medicinal scent. I'm not sure if they offer their bombs 
in other sense, but I know they do have aftershave splashes. Oh, it feels good. Looks like it dries in nice. We'll see how it goes over later, but it feels good. Doesn't feel sticky. Kind of the menthol isn't strong in this, but I kind of feel that nice cooling effect on my face. And yeah, that's good stuff. All right, so yeah, that was the Taconic aftershave bomb. I'm wondering if they named the company after the uh, Taconic Parkway in New York, but I'm not sure. I really didn't dive into the company history. I just looked to see what they had and whatnot. So, if you enjoyed today's Taconic shave, um, good stuff. Check them out on either on Amazon or on their own website. I'll leave the link uh, to both. I'll leave the Amazon link, and I'll leave the link to their physical website in the description. And uh, yeah, hope everybody's still staying safe during this pandemic. My parents are actually going to be trekking home from Florida this weekend, so I hope they're going to be safe. I told them to stay, but I think my father's getting antsy down there. I mean, they're in their mid-80s, and they still drive it. I mean, it's not a huge drive from Florida to New Jersey, but still. All right, so if you like my shave today from Taconic, thumbs up if you didn't like it, thumbs down. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, we're getting up there again, subscribers, and as soon as we hit a good number, I'll do another giveaway. I have something lined up awesome for the next giveaway. And yeah, until next shave, maybe that brush will come in by that time. We'll see. I'll be in big trouble, though, but it wasn't expensive. But the wife is like, ah, you know, more shaving stuff. <laughs> All right, so until next shave, Glenn signing off. <laughs>